Uh, I've only got four minutes, so I have no time for context. <laughs> I was in Narita International Airport in Japan once, and I wanted a massage, but all of the massage places were closed, and I thought, I don't know what I'm gonna do, and then I found a automatic robotic massage chair. 200 yen, right, it's a couple of bucks, and all the signage was in Japanese, but there was one sign in English that said, this chair will do a scan of your body and then tailor the massage to your particular needs. <laughs> yeah, in hindsight, too bold a claim. I was like, I've got a pocket full of change here I can't get rid of, you know, there's no way of getting rid of it. I could have waited, actually, until the flight to Melbourne was just about to land, you know, and the air hostesses come round with, like, a sack. And they're like, if anyone's got any foreign coins they don't want anymore, then pop them in here and uh, we'll change them up and spend them on vodka. <laughs> 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 and uh, amphetamines. <laughs> I was thinking, no, 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 you orange-faced trickstress. <laughs> this is going in my newfound automatic robotic massage chair. <laughs> so I sat in the chair like that, right? I put the coins in. The first thing that happened is the chair grabbed me around the ankles. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, right? You put your legs in these channels and they close around your, your, your calves. So I was like, all right, fuck, I'm in for the full 10. <laughs> And then the chair did the scan, it was like boop, boop. And uh, what the chair decided my specific need was, <laughs> at this moment of my life, was to do a very large poo. <laughs> Something I was completely unaware of. But the fucking chair knew. And then it started squeezing my body to that particular aim. <laughs> you know when you've got like a tube of toothpaste, right? <laughs> and you know there's some in the end, but you're really gonna have to roll it out. <laughs> it was kind of like that, but I was like, what's gonna come out of me isn't gonna be minty fresh. <laughs> I am about to shit myself <laughs> in the Rita International Airport and then get on a 10-hour flight to Melbourne. <laughs> you know, when you have a massage, you want your body to be relaxed, you know, but there's one very specific part of your body you don't want to relax under any circumstances <laughs> whatsoever. That is your anal sphincter. <laughs> I'm trying not to ship myself, you know, I'm in a panic. Then the chair uh, randomly just started punching me in the back of the head. <laughs> like that, right, in the back of the head, yeah. I was like a fucking night out in Perth. <laughs> Just, no, 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 no. Don't clap, I haven't got time. <laughs> I got 20 fucking seconds left. I'm nowhere near the end of the routine. <laughs> now I've made myself laugh and I've run out of time. You fucking dogs. <laughs> Look, I'll level with you. Like, the, this bit isn't even in the show. <laughs> so, like, if, if you liked it, like, come and see the show. <laughs> like, there'll be other jokes. <laughs> and if you didn't like it, then uh, come and see the show. <laughs> It won't be in the show. <laughs> Take it easy, can I? <laughs>